In my last episode, I got every Power 1 Brawler to 500 trophies and was left with the question, now what? Well, I'll tell you now what. I'm going to push every level 1 Brawler another 100 trophies and get them all to 600 trophies, or at least try to. Before I got into the grinding, I had a challenge to do. This was the Solo Showdown Graveyard Shift Modifier Challenge. It probably had a real name, I can't remember what it was. Now, the trick to this challenge was to equip a shield gear and camp in a bush until you got fourth place. With the first map down quickly, I then got into my third match, where I got pinched between two brawlers and lost rather quickly. Lesson learned. So I played it much safer from there. A couple more wins and rewards came in, pushing me ever so closer to unlocking Crow. And then just one single shot by a Byron, followed by me unable to reach any other players, led me to loss number three. But now onto the final map, which was a honestly a tough one for Tick. And in this first match, I, I don't know how to say it, I just got outplayed by the Brock. He gave me loss number four. Now it was at this point I thought if I spend a few gems to get the gold, it would be worth it. So I, I did. However, the very first match, once again, I just got outplayed and lost. That meant that I only had one loss before I was gone for good and the gems were just wasted. Now my gems may get wasted, you'll see, but uh, today's segue to the sponsor, definitely worth it. The all new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is here and better than ever. The all new hardware and features in this phone will bring your gaming experience to the next level. It has a Snapdragon Gen 2 chipset that has been optimized specifically for the Galaxy to bring you the smoothest and fastest gaming experience. But all the performance in the world means nothing if the battery can't stand long sessions. Enter a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery so you can game all day without searching for a charger and speaking of long gaming sessions the new galaxy s23 ultra has a new cooling system that is 40 percent more efficient than the s22 with its brand new vapor chamber cooling system meaning that you can play for hours without feeling like you're holding a curling iron in your hand the 6.8 inch edge to edge screen is beautiful and equipped with an adaptive vision booster meaning it will change to your environment and reduce strain on your eyes and with other features like more memory and a built-in s pin, the S23 Ultra isn't just a gaming device that works as a phone. It's an amazing phone first and foremost, and it also happens to be incredible at gaming. Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself, and big thanks to Samsung for sponsoring not only this video, but also this channel. Surrounded by Terras, an Edgar, and a Crow, I scrambled to survive, but I did make it to the end, and I even found a friend. Okay, last game. I just needed fourth place. Just Play it safe, Lex, and then ah, that spawn position. It's like the worst one possible. I quickly got pushed by a bow, and then a crow shows up to the party as well. Health was winding down. I was just praying for fourth place. And then one more death came in and secured my win and made those three gems well worth it. Now some days, you just feel lazy, and this was one of those days. I just did my quest for the day. Some duos with Brock where my teammates were either just wanting to camp around or watch me die or recklessly go in and feed the enemy cubes. Classic Edgar. After that, I played some Poco and Mapmaker and then in the end, I completed my quest while gaining exactly zero trophies for all of my effort. Awesome. Okay, okay, enough with the dawdling. I had spent two days not pushing a single brawler, so we started the day off by completing my quest. Now, we all know that I'm you know, like one fry short of a Happy Meal, so I decided to get Gene into Feast or Famine to get kills. I mean, I gained trophies, and I used press play again. I didn't get any kills. <laughs> and then I fell back on one of my favorite brawlers in Brawl Stars, Gray. And here we did find some success. I mean, not a lot, but some. Done! Oh, dude, that was easy. That was easy. And then I collected my first ever pin pack. We've got a Nita, a Gray, and a Stew. I can't complain. It's decent. Now, after my quests were done, it was time to start checking off those brawlers on my quest to get 600 with all of them. First one up was B. Now, I only had to focus on one thing here, and that was my range. She has such little health. I was basically two shot from everyone. But despite that, I did some good work. Power level 1B, 
600 trophies. Next up was Bo, and this one was honestly pretty easy as people took a page from my book and couldn't dodge the mines to save their lives. Usually didn't kill them because they were so weak, but they still couldn't dodge them. The kills came in and the trophies went up and up until 600 trophies were now mine. Now naturally, we completed our quest to start off the day, but then set our sights on more 600 trophy brawlers. First up was Gene, and since he was already leveled up, this one only took a few games. But then we went for a fun one, Dynamite. Playing on Hot Zone worked out pretty darn well. I mean, yeah, I got bullied a little, but not too bad as 600 Mike came pretty fast. The next one on the chopping block was Colt, and this one was honestly much harder. We started out in knockout, but that was a mistake. I died way too easy with so little health, and I couldn't outgun people with the low damage. So if I died, it was basically over for my team. So we switched game modes, and I did the best I could. In the end, we did make it and got a 600 Colt as well. On this day, the championship challenge had come and there were a lot of juicy rewards to be had. So naturally I wanted them. So I teamed up with my clubmate Andy and then we used looking for team feature to find a third player. Now I played B on the first map and we didn't have too much trouble finding three wins there. That was a, a, a beating. On double swoosh, I played bow mid and the games got a little tougher, but not too bad as we managed to walk away with again, three wins in a row. There we go, very well done, there we go. Next up was the map that I created, Sneaky Fields. We went in with Poco, Double Tank, and just completely ran over the competition here with that pure aggression that this comp affords. We'll just heal him up while I get stunned, and we'll finish it off, nice. Next up was another map that I made, Pit Stop. This is like the Lex challenge, not the championship challenge. This time I swapped over to an aggressive tank roll and just kept relentlessly attacking the safe. Yes, yes. And then we came to the final map in Knockout. Now, if you made it this far, you know the strat that people were using. And we tried to play normal right off the bat. And of course, we faced the cheese. It wasn't very tasty. And with the cheese, we won. You want a cheese? We can cheese too. And then we lost. Meaning that it all came down to this. If we win, we get it all. And if we lose, well then we fall short of winning the championship challenge. And this game against all 50,000 trophy players was a close one. There we go, there we go. Win number 15, 15 wins to the championship challenge. That means as a free to play, I am now eligible to compete for the world championships. Well, good job Zalgo. Zalgo and Andy, we got it done. Now, you would think they would be good enough for the day, but no, I still had more brawlers to push, so I just went with an easy one, Terra, and we got her to 600 without much problem at all. Now continuing on that grind of brawlers, we set our sights on M's first. In double swoosh, she actually did pretty decent, even picking up a star player here and there, but I also got bullied from time to time as well. All in all, it wasn't too bad, and I quickly got her to 600 trophies as well. Our next brawler, Primo, however, was actually much harder than I thought it was gonna be. Now I wanted to push him in Brawl Ball, but the games were just up and down. There was times where I could make some great plays, but other times, I just didn't have the health or damage to win in spots where Primo would normally win. So we decided to try our luck in Heist, and it was going great. Finally, we were able to pick it up get some wins, and get Power 1 El Primo to 600 trophies. Another brawler off the list, and another day done. Now today we started out by completing a bunch of quests, mainly getting kills with various brawlers and mapmaker. Colt was a challenge, but the others seemed to go pretty well. After that was done, we swapped over to Bounty to see if I could push Barley to 600 trophies. Surprisingly, it went pretty darn well. Andy and Green Kid were lighting it up, and I managed to play pretty well too. All in all, it was a pretty easy push and Barley was done. Now next up was probably one of the easiest brawlers for me to push to, Daryl.
done, we had two more brawlers that had reached their goal, and the day was done. So I went to collect my rewards, but the trophy road blocked me with the power points and decided to level up my Shelly to power five just because I knew I was going to need to push her up to 600 trophies here pretty soon and it might make it a little bit easier. After that, I was well over halfway to getting Crow and 100% done with this day. I had an exciting quest to get an extra 50 credits towards Crow, which I really needed. But first, I had to take my rank 25 into some map makers and complete some quests. Dude, I can't do anything yet. This turned out to be pretty tough, especially when you have a Frank just feeding the enemy team and the Carl and him just angry pinning each other the entire time. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I got one kill. They want to play again? Are you kidding me? Bro, that was worse. Thumbs down. It's horrible. And they're like, let's play again. Eventually, I completed it and moved on to duels. Now, I led with my 717 trophy, power 9 gray, and I thought I was bound to lose trophies. But instead, this happened. Next up was a couple of quests with Poco and healing. So I made the choice to level up Poco one time to power level nine and get a star power. After that, we completed the quest with my brand new star power, even though we lost trophies, but we're not gonna talk about that. Then it was time to smash some people with a power one brawler. We started that off with power five Shelly, however, because I thought that she'd be easiest and Sneaky Fields is up. 20 minutes later of pushing and we had a 600 Shelly. And since the greatest Brawl Ball map in Brawl Stars was in rotation, I thought, yo, it's time to push my tank. I started that tank push with the Boxing Botanist. Then I followed that one up with the one and only Bull. And after that, I mindlessly played some Jackie. And with that, all of my tanks were at 600 trophies. So I capped the day off by getting Poco to 650 trophies back in gym grab. This day was a two for one. Not only did I complete some quests, but I also got my Terra to 650 trophies. With that completed, I took a look at my brawler, seeing that I only had five left to get 600 on all of them and complete my goal for these weeks. Day 50 was all about one thing love or yeah friendship me and my best friend kairos hopped into the you complete me challenge expecting to steamroll the competition but then this happened on the very first game no edgar oh my Are you gosh oh me? we lost the first one not off to a great start but after that we got into the groove and made a run all right yeah yes. <laughs> okay we got the comeback <laughs> oh my gosh Hey, nice. Dad. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. Okay, Dude, very easy wins. <laughs> 80 more credits. Are you kidding me? This is so good. I love it. I literally didn't think this was going to happen for a while, and now I am ready for my next brawler. And I don't know if which brawler I want it to be. Come on. Yes. Oh, Boom. Yes. Ah! Okay. And oh, then I'm, he's going to die. Gonna and that him. means we just won we the challenge. win the challenge. Oh, but we how, have to beat these guys. How did we lose guys. the very first game? But in the end, we completed the challenge and each other. Even if we couldn't get the sprays quite right. <laughs> that was even <laughs> worse than what I did. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but me personally, I could be a pretty bad procrastinator. I work well under tight deadlines, but... This time, I was having so much fun with these low-level brawlers, I decided just to have one last massive day of pushing and just complete it all. So we played a little Jesse in Heist. And even though Jesse is really weak as a power one, I was still winning my lanes against others that were way above me in levels. And after that, well, I did the same thing with Carl. After that, we switched it up to gym grab and I played some Nita. Now, I think that if opponents realized I was a power one, they'd just charge me, but we did surprisingly well and easily pushed Nita to 600 trophies. 
After that, we went back to high where he got my gale all the way up to 600 as well. And this one was pretty much the same as the others, just with more snow. And then came the final brawler stew. And I'll be honest, this one was easily the most difficult. But I'm not going to say it was a brawler weakness. We all have those brawlers that we're just not good with. And Stu is one of those for me. I just, I suck with him, okay? I suck with him. I did actually start to get a little bit better. But, I mean, when you're starting at the very bottom, I mean, there's only really one direction to go. And with that, I had completed the challenge. Every brawler I had was at 600 trophies regardless of power level. Oh, so you thought that was it? No siree, Bobski. I wanted to push it even further by grabbing my second favorite brawler, Brock, and getting him to 750 trophies and yet another rank 25 and popping off in the process. And then Gray followed suit with another 750 trophies on him as well. And then that meant one thing, that the next day was going to be hype. Now I could tell you about the quests and the rewards, but really, I mean, who cares? Today, there was only one thing on my mind. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to let you enjoy this. We just unlocked our first legendary brawler and my favorite brawler in the game. And we now have a choice of who to unlock next. I think that we're going to go with Penny just because like overall, she's probably a more useful option. We've got a crap ton of power points. We've got a ton of coins as well. I could pretty much max crow out right here, right now, but you're going to have to wait for the next episode for that one. <laughs>